welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video. I should probably put that down. <laughs> um, so I'm excited because yesterday I got my package from Violet Pantane. Uh, oh, they're um, a Spanish indie brand and I'm so excited about this dress. I've seen, I saw it um, maybe last year, but it wasn't for sale when I saw it and then when they were doing the re-release of this again, I just had to get it. So I decided I wanted to do a unboxing video showing my reaction to the dress in person and kind of showing you guys like what it looks like and all the colors and the fabric. I mean, I've been dying to open this box since I got here last night, but I decided to wait <laughs> so I could film it. So let's get into this. I am excited. I did not pre-open this. I, I might have, I really hope I didn't like, make sure there's nothing back, oh, there's stuff back there. We'll kind of go this way. I tried to remove my name, but they really taped your name all over this box if you order it, if you ordered one. If you guys did order, let me know what color you got, or ooh, guess what color I got right now in the comments. <laughs> I'm really curious what people think, because I know... I don't know, I feel like you might be surprised. You might be surprised at what color I picked out. And they, I don't remember when this pre-order was happening, but I know that they were pretty quick once they sent out your shipping. Like, uh, I think last week on Thursday they said, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm just, oh. Okay, so here's what the, they have in the box. If you guessed gray in the comments, you're right. I got gray, which I know most people probably suspect that I would get black, but I actually really, really wanted the gray. Just something different and light. I really like lavender. So they gave me a little sticker. Oh, I like this so much. It says, be the prettiest ghost. I will. I will be the prettiest ghost. And then of course the art. The photos of this dress are so inspiring. I'm definitely gonna be taking some photos like this this fall um, for my Instagram in it. I can't wait. And one of my friends also got this dress. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, the fabric is so silky and nice. Oh my. Oh, this is so beautiful this bow oh the ribbon is so oh and you can unpin it which is great oh you can pin your hair that's nice actually i'm gonna pin it my hair right now oh it's so beautiful i love this color i know okay so i know one of my friends, we were talking about this when we were both ordering it. Oh my gosh, I might not even wear this with the dress. I might just wear it in every day. Um, but we were talking about like trying to find, you know, accessories and like stuff to match. So it's nice to know that this is attachable and maybe if I wanted to put like a cool collar on the top um, to like kind of like show off something different up here instead of leaving that on that I can use as a hair accessory to bring that color back up. Alright, so let's look at the skirt because we want to see that detail that we throw the box on the ground. We don't care about that anymore. This is the real money shots. Oh my. Oh my. <sighs> okay, so if you can't, if you don't know this about me, or can't tell, I love spooky stuff. Um, I don't like scary things. I feel like there's a difference. <laughs> um, and as you can see, I'm already preparing for Halloween. But cemeteries are one of my favorite things. Like, I have a favorite cemetery back um, in Virginia, and that's where I'm from originally. And like, I just love the history of them and like the beauty and the peace that you can find in a cemetery. And I know a lot of people think that's strange, but like, I don't know, I just love them. I love coffins. I definitely think I'm more of like a vampire god <laughs> when it comes to like I don't I'm not witchy I like my coffins and I like my bats and that's about it I don't know so I when I saw these beautiful coffins on the skirt of this I just I had 
had to. Look at the tomb. I'll get some like close-up shots in here, but it's just so gorgeous. Ugh, I really can't wait to court this. And like all the flower details, you can do so many different things as a cord. I already have um, like a tombstone headpiece that I could probably throw with this and like change up the elements. So like that's gonna be fun. This is a living memory. I wasn't gonna attempt to try to read this. I'll show um, in the detail shots. It's so cute. Can't wait to see what this fits me. I'm already looking at it, and the bodice does look a little small for my size, um, but it does have some stretch, so it should be fine. But just looking at it from here, I, I'm a little nervous, but it'll be beautiful. Even like the pieces up here with the tombs, the cross. I don't really. So this is probably like, I'm just rambling, but this is probably like a mixed opinion, I guess. I always feel weird about religious symbols um, on certain dresses. So like if it has like a pentagram or a cross, sometimes I feel weird wearing it. If it's like covered in them or if it's like too much, I just feel strange because I wouldn't want someone to like come up to me. And I think this is probably just because of my childhood. I'm sorry I'm telling you about <laughs> my traumas don't listen to me but um like my mom would see me wearing a, a band t-shirt and she'd be like name a song from that band so like i wouldn't want someone to come up to me and be like i don't know like what does that mean or you know just explaining something about a detail so that's why i always feel weird oh wait does this have pockets oh no i didn't check for pockets no pockets but beauty, it definitely has all the beauty. I'm so excited. I think last year was the last time I got a new piece, um, and it was Spooky Macaron by Lady Sloth. And so I'm just. I love this. This is just, this is so my aesthetic and it's something different from my wardrobe because I have like a lot of black and I'm really trying to get into color and prints. I think my style prints are a little hard for me because like I said, I'm really picky about like the details of the dress and like what's on it. And this is just one that I couldn't pass up. Like it's just so beautiful and it's like everything that I love about cemeteries. So I had to get it. And of course this is called The Funeral and it's by Violet. Fane. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I said Violet Fantaine <laughs> in the beginning, but Violet Fane. And it's just so pretty. And I hope you guys are excited to see, if you follow me on Instagram, some really romantic um, fall photos. I've already been trying to get the last of summer photos out of my system and slowly turning my house back into Halloween because it's the time now. I know it's August, guys, but now's the time. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any feedback or comments, definitely leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, bye.